Hello and a very good evening and welcome to the grand final edition of the Hampton Netball Show. We're finally here, three years in the making, and we're going to be celebrating the biggest week or the biggest weekend of the Hampton Football Netball League this weekend. Cobden taking on South Warrnambool is the grand final and what a grand final it promises to be. If it is anything like the second semi-final, we are in for one hell of a contest, that is for sure. At the Reed Oval on Saturday afternoon, I think the time's 1.45, uh, the game time. Joining me on the grand final edition, as she does each and every week, Trish Butters, uh, how exciting is uh, this weekend coming? Absolutely. To have a grand final show, um, a final show for the year, and to be running into a grand final, we are so excited. I bought the champagne <laughs> along. I Cheers to the grand final. Might have a little sip later, but um, I think um, it's been a, a super year. It sounds, oh, some days it feels like it's a long year, and other days I think it's flown through. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this weekend. Absolutely, sure. and a, a great credit to all the clubs that have participated this year. You know, in each and every division, I think it's a, a great job. Obviously, it's had its obstacles and challenges with COVID and the like, mm. but we've all come through pretty well. And uh, it culminates this weekend with uh, all of our junior and senior grand finals. So congratulate to all those teams that are participating. Um, hopefully we see some grand, great grand final games to end the season. We are going to have a big look at this weekend, South Warrnambool Cobden Open Division Clash. We're going to look at and have a chat about and reflect on the <coughs> Maskell Medal, Dot Jenkins Medal Day last weekend, which was an overwhelming success. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. Um, but let's go to our guests and we're going to go to the Camperdown Hospital as our location because <laughs> the new mum of the Cobden Bombers joins us. It is the coach, Sophie Hinkley. Soph, thanks for joining us and I love your dedication. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Hey, uh, congratulations on the new arrival for you and Paul. Uh, very exciting. Can you let us know, little boy, a little girl on Monday, I believe? Yeah, we had another little girl. So we've got a two and a half year old Holly and we welcomed Annabelle on Monday. So another little Cobden netballer, maybe one day. <laughs> Fantastic. The, uh, the uh, mother-daughter yes. uh, rule will yes. certainly come into play there. Hey, so if, how's, the, how's the nerves? How's uh, preparations looking for the, week ahead, for the weekend? Yeah, well, I guess now my um, attention can turn <laughs> to back to the netball. Um, we had a very exciting weekend um, with a good win against Coroit and then the great result having Rem um, take out the Dot Jenkins medal, which was really exciting for us. Um, the girls trained on Tuesday or last night without me and then, um, yeah, we'll go into just a nice light session tomorrow. The girls are super excited about the weekend and um, I guess it's that... Um, yeah, it's that culmination of all that hard work that we've done all year and I think the girls are really excited and looking forward to another opportunity. I think, Sophie, um, it, it's the lead up into um, grand final this weekend with a big game on the weekend. You've done it the hard way. You've gone through, had a close um, a loss and then a win and then you've had um, a big day on Sunday down at the club rooms, a baby on the Monday. It's been a huge week um, leading into this weekend's grand final. Um, how's the feeling around the club? Or um, I guess it's a very excited feeling around there. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, well, in the past, we haven't had that jam-packed final series um, and it hasn't served us well once we've come <laughs> to that last weekend. So perhaps that difference uh, will help us this year. But I think... Um, yeah, sometimes having too much time to stew over things doesn't, doesn't help. Um, so having some momentum and having some really tough games that we've fought out, I think will really um, benefit us going into this week. Um, and, yeah, we had a great atmosphere on Sunday. I think, once again, the club is just really excited to have us there at the end of the season. Um, I noticed looking at the all the netball games that I think it's only four clubs, is it, that yes. are fighting out all of the different finals. So just generally being so excited to have three teams that are representing our club on Saturday. Um, and, yeah, the girls are just excited to have that opportunity to represent our club and, and bring that excitement and joy to the community. Mm. Hey, Soph, how much revision um, did you look at the South game a fortnight ago? You know, did you <coughs> go into this game sort of trying to, I guess, you know, make sure that you're still playing that method of game that you play, but with a few little 
um, alterations or, you know, and do you look at maybe any sort of minor um, lineup adjustments as well or do you sort of go in with the same lineup, same sort of method, but just with a bit of a different um, spin on it? Yeah, well, we were probably lucky um, in the fact that Kuroit and South are quite similar um, in the way that we'll attack playing them. Um, so after we lost to South, um, we probably looked at those four trainings that we had across two weeks as an opportunity to build to this moment. Um, and, yeah, thankfully last week training meant that we could also work on things that would serve us well this week going into South. Um yeah, we looked back at um, a bit of footage from the South game um, and that was probably just refining things that we've been working on all year and just identifying, you know, where we didn't stick to our um, to our game plan and execute things perfectly um, and, yeah, certainly not um, introducing anything new, just revising things and revisiting and reminding ourselves um, of what we're trying to achieve and, yeah, what game plan we're trying to execute. So if I know um, <clears throat> Nadine talked about um, you and, and you as well um, are big into um, preparation and if the preparation's done, the rest will take care of itself. So I asked this last week and I'm going to ask it again to each person tonight. How do you think? Why do you think you will win the grand final this weekend? Yeah, I think that, um, like you say, any plan... Um, it doesn't matter how, how good the plan is, it's um, the execution <laughs> of it at the end of the day um, and we've been executing better and better as the year's gone on. Um, I think the girls have, have bought into that and recognised how important um, playing together as a team and playing to that game plan is um, and each of those, those falters, I guess, that, you know, one goal lost to South, showed us again if we're not doing those little things and um, playing that together that, um, yeah, it, it doesn't end up in a win sometimes. <laughs> so um, I think each of those opportunities has taught them, um, yeah, how to stick to it and have that, that persistence and tenacity. And I think that that will, that will end up with us, um, yeah, being really strong for 60 minutes or, Maybe longer, who knows? I thought we might get longer in the, <laughs> in the semi-final. Um, but, yeah, I think probably just that um, yeah. reflection and ability to recognise that we need to stick to it for as long as possible. Hey, so congratulations on the Cobden Bombers and the year that you've had thus far. I know it still doesn't end until uh, the weekend, but uh, you've done a great job leading the way with Nadine and a great uh, group of girls running around. So all the best of luck on the weekend. We wish you all the best and um, thanks for all your support on the show throughout the course of the year. Thanks, guys. Well done for the year as well. It's been um, wonderful every week listening to you guys and you've done a great job. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so. Dave. Beautiful work. Sophie Hinkley, the coach of the Cobden Bombers. Let's go up to Rooster Land. We're catching up with one of their young superstars. She polled extremely well in the Jock mm. Jenkins medal the other day, finishing fifth uh, and a great season. I speak of Isabella Ray. Izzy, thanks for jumping on and having a chat with us tonight. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Hey, congratulations on your season to date. Um, a great finish in the Dot Jenkins medal. I reckon you would have been pretty chuffed with uh, your, your effort there, but... More importantly, a big grand final this weekend. Um, how's the nerves with the, the South Warrnambool girls? Um, yeah, they're definitely there. <laughs> um, we've looked at acknowledging our nerves and using them to push us and get ready for the game more so than um, kind of bury them and keep them inside. Um, but, yeah, we're extremely excited and just ready to get on with it, really. Yeah, so I think um, you're a really young team and I think Cobden are an experienced team. Um, it is a bit of a fairy tale for both teams if they won this weekend. I know um, South Warrnambool haven't won a grand final. They won the first four in our league and then haven't won one since and Cobden haven't won any. So either one team is really deserving of a premiership. But um, how's it been around the club? Because I know, um, you know, it, it does mean a lot to to your club. Um, so how's the feeling around the club at the moment? Yeah, no, the vibe around the club is amazing at the moment, I think. Um, it's just been so great to see the support we've got from every, all our um, netball teams, but the footy as well. 
Mm. and the life members and the people that do all the work around the club. They're so excited. They all got around us. Um, two weeks ago at South we had a, um, a massive amount of support up there. So, yeah, everyone's excited and just, um, yeah, ready for it. I reckon you've got a great coach and a great assistant coach in saying that as well. Lisa will kill me if I don't acknowledge her too, is he? <laughs> but um, you've got two great people leading your netball club. And I think just the experiences that they've got with such a young group that you guys are. And I guess, you know, you're not overly young. You know, you've still got Carly and Annie and, um, you know, Holly has been around for mm. a few seasons now. But obviously they, they must be great influences and mentors to you guys. Just to ensure that you're keeping a nice level head and, um, you know, your, your head's in the right uh, headspace, I guess, for... The weekend coming. Yeah, for sure. Um, both Lisa and Will are great and they've, they've been in our position before and they know exactly what we're going through, so they're really good at um, approaching this in the way that we are. Um, but, yeah, they're both exceptional. They both look at the game in different perspectives, so it's, it's a good – they're a great team and, um, yeah, we value them a lot. Um, and I just said to Sophia how um, organised their club is. You know, they, they, a lot of it goes into preparation and I know South is exactly the same. It's looking at footage. There's a plan in place and there's plan B and there's plan C and plan D if something doesn't work. Um, so, question to you, <laughs> Isabella. Um, how can you go? Why should you guys win on the weekend? Um, <laughs> I think we've looked at it that it's just going to be a... 60 minute if longer grind um, and just take it quarter by quarter. We know that it's going to be a hard game. It's not going to be easy in the slightest. So I think, yeah, it's just mentally and physically preparing for that grind and, um, yeah, just trying to approach it as we would a normal game mm. and, yeah, stay in routine as much as possible. But. <laughs> It's just which another is, game, people which, which, say. Yeah, but... right. It's not just another game. You're actually <laughs> playing for, um, for the big thing. Hey, Isabella, I was looking at your lineups yesterday um, and having a good look. And I think, you know, across all facets of the court, and as it was sort of shown in that second semi final, there's going to be some great matchups. You know, you're in the mid court area. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Ali and, and Carly have got a big job to do down in the defensive end. Holly and Annie have got a big job to do in the goal shooters end. So, just from a, a neutral supporter that isn't Cobden or isn't South, I think they'd be up for one hell of a game with just the two lineups that you guys have got. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cobden has just such a strong team all over the court, every single position. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be very tight, very good matchup all over the court. I think their defenders are exceptional, um, as are their goalies. So it's just, yeah, it's... It's going to be hard, but, yeah, we're prepared and we're, we're ready for the challenge. Good on you. Hey, well, we wish you all the very best of luck. And the South Warrnambool girls, uh, the support we've had from the Roosters this year has been enormous. I think mm. I looked at uh, my list of who I've contacted and you're the sixth Rooster we've had on the show. So we really appreciate you jumping on tonight and all the assistance that the Roosters have given us throughout the course of the year. And we wish you all the very best of luck. It's going to be a great game. And if you're a neutral netball supporter... I wouldn't be going anywhere else by the Reed Oval on Saturday to watch one of probably the uh, the best Open Division Grand Finals we'll see for some time. So all the best, Izzy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Isabella Ray, Isabella. and uh, what a season she had. She's going to be a very <clears> key <throat> player uh, on the weekend because when you look at the midcourts, obviously you look at herself and Meg Kels and yeah. in amongst up, that midcourt area. Up and then against you take the Blaine them, sisters. Up against the Blaine sisters. And both are very young yep. and very um, they're fit. quick. They're fit. Fit, quick. Fit fast, yeah. Um, so it's going to be awesome. Before we dissect this yep. grand final and Let's have a good look back. at it, I want to have um, a quick reflection on Dot Jenkins' medal day. Um, we've got some vision to roll with our winner, um, who this year was Remini McCann with 33 votes. And, well, I think it's one of the stories of the year. Um, yeah. What a worthy winner. It's, uh, I guess, defenders, you know, probably in her... her um, Defence, you know, probably they don't get a lot of recognition, the goalkeepers, but I mm. think, you know, it's usually your goal, uh, your goal yeah. defenders and obviously um, your mid-quarters will probably get more notice, but what a story from uh, from Remedy McCann. Yeah, absolutely. And we had her on last weekend, uh, last Wednesday night, and we saw how passionate she is about Cobden yeah. and how much this final is going to mean this week to her. Um, and we could see on the weekend how um, it meant, for how much it meant to her to be the inaugural winner yeah. of um, the Dot Jenkins 
Doc Jenkins Medal. She goes down in history. Um, she has a connection with Dot. You could see that connection. Yeah. She had us nearly all in tears with her speech. Um, Even had me nearly in tears, and I'm a pretty hard <laughs> soul. It's hard, it's hard to draw a tear out of me, but yeah. <laughs> you could just, she tugged at the heartstrings because Absolutely. it meant a lot to her. Cobden means a lot to yep. her. Um, and obviously, you know, the relationship we got with Jot yep. means a lot to her as well. Yep. So awesome stuff. And she <clears> dominated, <throat> I think I counted in that last nine rounds. Yes. She had uh, 12 votes after round eight. In the last 10 rounds, she voted in eight games and had six best on court. So. Yep. Just a dominant back half, and Absolutely. it's a credit to her. And she's not tall. No, she's, she's not, not tall. tall. But and she, she's plays taking, tall. She, she plays tall. She plays tall, and she's taken. And we said last mm. week she's got that really probably the goalkeeper's role is more expansive this year because yep. of obviously the opponents that she's having to roll against. Yeah. I think um, she's got a really good vertical leap. Um, she's also judges the ball really yeah. well. So she's a hunter. She'll go out if the ball's there to be got. She'll go and get it. Um, but she'll also hedge back in the in the goal ring. So. Yeah, I was really excited for her and, um, you know, look, she won the, got the best on court on the weekend yep. in the final, um, once again up against Snell. So, um, yeah, I hope she has a, a really good one this yeah. weekend too. I think it will go a long way to who wins the game, to be honest. Absolutely. So, cheers to you, yeah, Ram. Well done, Ram. We didn't get to awesome cheers you on the weekend, we'll but we will today. Beautiful work. Awesome stuff. And a well done to Sky Billings also to run her up <clears> in the award. And yeah. Sky's had a super year. And as I said on Sunday, it's hard to know the year that Sky's had unless you're a North Warnable person yeah. or you've seen Sky on a couple of occasions. Because, you know, for the neutral that doesn't get to a lot of games, you don't see a name in the best players no. because obviously she's the coach. No. So, but, And um, I think this is the first year, like she started off in the centre but went into goal attack. And, um, you know, she's a natural goal attack and yep. played there as a junior. Um, but as she's got a bit older, she's tried to fill other spots. So yep. for her to just to play in that position all year, I think Feels that's where natural. she came home. Feels natural. Yeah, I don't think she polled early, but I think that once she got into that position, um, yep. yeah, she sort of really stood out. Yep. So, yeah, great recognition for Absolutely. her. Absolutely. All right, let's look at this weekend's grand final. South Warrnambool, they finished on top of the ladder. They've only dropped the one game. That was against Cobden a second time around. They take on the Cobden Bombers, who, you know, have been there the last couple this of seasons. This is last week. Will we have a look at last week? Oh, we week? can have a quick look at last yeah. week. Absolutely. Um, so, obviously, a great win there by the Cobden Bombers. And I think there's a strong motivation amongst that Bombers group, you know, to, <laughs> to go that extra mile. They've been there before and have some have come so close. But, um, yeah, a great performance on the end, uh, on the weekend. And, yeah, credit to Croyd as well. Uh, great season for the Saints. Yeah, fought it out. Um you know, unfortunately for them, Cobden got the jump in the first quarter. It's hard to come back against a really good team once they get on a roll. Um, I'm really impressed with Cobden, how they've changed that. I know earlier in the season, and Sophie would admit to this if she was on still, that they were fading a bit in the last quarter. But I think they've um, gelled better as a team as the years got on. Their fitness has picked up, and um, and that was really quite evident on the weekend. Um, Karit got back in it. Karit tried to make them scrappy. Um, you know, and, and bring it in close because that's the way they like to play. Cobden like to sort of probably play a bit more free-flowing game and um, got a little bit back into it, but, yeah, they just drew away again uh, towards the end of the last quarter. So, yeah, it was a super game, um, really well played and uh, played in good spirits for both games. Really um, well umpired. We had yep. an umpire down from Geelong yep. who umpired on the weekend. You can see him in the middle of the screen there. I don't know his last name, but it was Brody. Yep. <laughs> and... Um, it was great to have that um, that umpire, who's an A-grade umpire at a different level, just to come in, and I think the girls appreciate it, which we will have again this weekend. Yeah. Not, we won't have Brody. We've you sort got... of need that neutral one, don't you? That <clears throat> sort think... of hasn't seen him before and it's yeah. not coming. Not that you know you question the umpire's integrity or anything like that, but it's no. just nice to have sort of someone that hasn't had to umpire him before and you're just sort of seeing it on its merits, you know? Yeah, I think they just seem to react better to someone they don't know, like they don't pull any faces or anything. Yeah, that's accepting right. Accepting of the decision, yep, that must have been it and kept on going. So it keeps the game at a really good level. But, um, yeah, it was good to have him down and it will be good to have Nathan Begley, who um, umpires the... Um, the big games, so the Vixens games okay. in Melbourne. He's a double A umpire, so we're very lucky to have him. And our um, um and our umpire of the year, um, Leah McSwain. Oh, Nella, gee, went back. Le Leah came Leah came in. Gee, yeah. went back in history then, didn't I? Um, and umpired together. So um, yep. and I, you know, just like a nice sunny day now too. Yeah. Uh, so we can showcase the skills of both of these teams. Yeah, awesome crowd too, <coughs> which is great. The crowds have been enormous crowd. at Open Division. Mm. It's been super. The, you know, the one at South was just sublime, and this yep. one last weekend was terrific over Port Ferry as well. Absolutely. So. Well done to the Saints, Kate Dobson and the team. They've, uh, they've got some great talent in that side, that is for sure, and uh, they had a great year. And no doubt they would have been disappointed, but 
I don't think you can be di disappointed with the year that they've had. They've been very, very good. <coughs> All righty, we'll finish off with the highlights. Let's look at our grand final. Cobden take on South Warrnambool. Well, the storylines, the narratives for both sides are equally as impressive. Cobden to win their first ever. South to win their first one since, you know, the oh. early 90s. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me, what's, what's going to happen? <laughs> Who's going to win oh, and why? Gee, I said on the weekend it could be a draw and one in time on. Well, it could be too. Um, if you remember right back to our very first show when we picked two, I, thought, I think I picked Cobden. Yep. Um, just because I thought, you know, I guess the fairy tale, they'd lost two grand finals. They were going for Premiers and Champions last year and were robbed of it by COVID. Um, and I thought, you know, they had the same team um, with an addition of Sarah Moroni, right. who's a big addition. Um, I thought they would go through and win it. South Warrnambool, as I changed throughout the year, South Warrnambool really got their strength going and um, I really love the way they play the game. Um, good, fast netball, um, play the tall goalie and, you know, and his feed into there. And then Carly Watts in the background, back line. So, look, I'm going to stick with Cobden. Um, I went there at the start. I think, um, I think I said to this South a couple of weeks ago, I'd like to see them go in. They're a young team. It's nice to um, have played and going with momentum. And you heard Sophie say they went in winning straight in last time, the last two times. Yep. They've lost. Um, it's a bit of a narrative there. Does that will that happen again? I don't know. I don't think we'll allow that to happen. Or Lisa, they'll have the girls really primed and ready to go. Um, young team. I don't know. Will they get overwhelmed by the day? I think the matchups. I think the really matchups are going to be the decider. I think Annie Blackburn is a, a game winner. Um, she's Annie on top, South will be on top. I think for, and then we know Cobden have got the best defence in, in, in our league at the moment. Those three defenders, they've got, they can switch and swap in there. Um, I think that will be their winning edge. Um, and I think their players on the court that come on off the court are just as good as those on the court. So they've got a bit more option at, the, at this stage of the year. That's what I'm thinking, but yep. gee, anything can happen. Best on court? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Um, as I said, if South win, it'll be Annie Blackburn because I think she's a match winner. Um, if Cobden win, hmm, who do I think? Ren McCann. I knew you were going to say that. Well, she's got to beat Holly Phillips, <laughs> yeah. doesn't she? You know, yeah. that's a match winning match up. Um, so I think that will be a big thing for her. Um, shut down Annie's feed into Holly um, will be a big, um, will go a long way to, to helping them win. But as I said, I don't care. The fairy tale for either team, there is a, a great story there. And, you know, both worthy winners. Um, I'd love to see South, you know, they've finished on top. Some great girls in there who came down to Association Champs with us. Same with Cobden. So um, I probably just lean to a little bit of experience this weekend. Well, I think if you go back through the first show, I would have said the opposite. I think South. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to stay you with did. the Roosters. Yeah. I just think they're well coached. Not that Cobden are. They're no. extremely well coached yeah. as well. We're yeah. very lucky that the coaches they've got, but I just love the way South have gone about it. No fuss. They just they do their job each and every week. They've got a great lineup, and I think I think the midcourt comes down to a big mm. uh, a big mm. battle. Obviously, you have got the two Blaine girls up against Meg Kelson, Isabella Ray, and I think Isabella Ray is going to be the one that's going to be the um, the big the big important one in that midcourt. I just think she's she's got netball smarts and, and she's fast. She's, she's very fast. quick. Very quick. fast. Quick reaction. Um, <coughs> so I, I really like the Roosters. Yeah. I think, oh, um, there's I, nothing in it. No, and, you know, honest, the coin. It's a flip of the coin job, yeah, but is. I just, I just, I've liked the Roosters. Their, their game play all yeah. year, and I think um, they'll continue on. And they'll had it. They've had a freshen up. Obviously, a week off, no doubt. Lisa and, and Will have certainly put them through their paces yeah. over the last week and a bit, just to ensure that uh, they're not taking the foot off the pedal. And yeah, I'm sticking with the Red and White Army. I think, yeah. uh, I think they'll get the job done. And my, my best on court is going to be Isabella Ray. I didn't yeah. want to say while she was on, but uh, I think yeah. she's going to have a large say, mm. especially mm. in that midcourt. Plenty, mm. you know, working to try and get Annie and, and Holly into that game mm. Mm. is going to be absolutely crucial. And you take on a couple of really good opponents, the Blaine girls as well. Um, promises to be a great game. So uh, at the end of the day, I don't really, it doesn't worry me who wins because Neither. I think it's going to be a great contest. Yeah, yeah, and as you said, the storyline yeah. is going to be yeah. fantastic. Yeah. But I think yeah. I think South have got the artillery mm. to do it. So. Someone's got to win. That, we know right. that. So let's just hope, fingers crossed, the weather's yeah. nice. We get yeah. a very nice crowd there yeah. as well. And uh, and Nepal is the winner on the day. So yeah. There's a lot of great games on the weekend. Yep. There'll be some really close ones. As um, What time so is the first game? At 9 o'clock. There'll be two games at 9 o'clock. Uh, it's the 13s and I think it's... 
17 reserves. Yep. And then 10 o'clock, so they're both the quicker games. Uh, and then we go on um, 11, 15, 12, 30. Yep. Uh, Deep one on their own and open will be on their own at 1.45. Right. Yep. All things running smoothly. Yep. But, you know, grand final day, you get a, you get well, a draw here, right. there, there, things change. Yep. Getting people on the off court. And you've got to allow people to celebrate. Like, oh, everyone's excited. And, yeah. Um, well, we've been know. waiting for this for three years. Absolutely so, have. Yeah, so yeah. we've just got to, yeah, yeah, absolutely be a little bit lenient yeah. if we need yeah. that. Just so. keep going, yeah. So. That's right. Well, Trish, what a year it's been. Now, I did my stats on, on the mm -hmm. other night. We've had, including Isabella tonight, and Sophie, and had Sophie on for the year, uh, we've had 39 guests. Wow. <laughs> so to all those netball mm. clubs, um, we've oh, had a representative amazing. from everyone. A big thank you for your support. Without you jumping on and having a chat with each and every week, we wouldn't have this netball program, program going as well as it is. So thank you to all the clubs for buying in. Um, thank you to Miss Kit, Jodie Lay and the team. Uh, absolutely much appreciated the support you have, all of our sponsors and those major sponsors of the league. And yeah. You know how important yeah. they are, Trish. Power Call, Lindock Living, McDonald's, Sun, Sun Gold, plus all of our other associate sponsors. And that is majorly uh, important that we have those guys around. So please ensure that you do support all of our great sponsors. And I know you've got to thank you for all our camera work people yes. and stuff throughout the course of the year too. The vision's been enormous. Yeah. I think it just adds to the show and to give us a little bit of insight of uh, you know how how games have played out and just, yep. you know, people love seeing a little yep. bit of vision. Too. So all these people who on a Friday night or maybe at 12.30 on a Saturday are <laughs> text and say, can you do some vision? Peter Canady never misses every week. Antonio Obama from Port Ferry, Marie Lane from Croy, Nancy Grant from Portland, Jess Davis from Terrain Mortlake, Hayley Kelson from South Warrnambool, Rebecca Perry from Warrnambool and Nadine McNamara who not only does everything else, but gets me some vision as well to go in. So yep. big thank you to all those people. Um, we wouldn't have any vision if it wasn't for them, yeah, taking right. on their phone, sending it through, um, so we can put together a little bit of a, a package. So. Absolutely, and I think too, we're, we're treated here in the Hampton region. Yep. No other league I've seen that has an online show that no. celebrates the netball like we do. And yep. it's important we celebrate this great game because we, uh, we do it so well in the Hampton region. So we appreciate, everyone, appreciate everyone's support throughout the course of yep. 2022. It's been great to have netball back. It's been great to be in your living rooms or on your iPads or computers on a Wednesday night and talking about one of the great sports in the uh, southwest region. Trish, it's been great having you yep. in each and every week. And we thank must you. thank too uh, Nadine uh, McNamara, yes. Josie Logan, Lisa Battistello that have come in, in. And, mm. and stepped in at mm. times when needed as well. Mm. I really appreciate it. And even Maddie Stewart and Maddie. <laughs> as well. Uh, you know, steering the ship if I hadn't oh, to come here. And watch out on the weekend. I, I usually go live the last quarter. I'm going to try and go live the whole game for the Open as long as my battery holds out. But um, that we've been playing. I know I had a message from someone in Queensland the other day, uh, Trish Patterson from, oh, yeah. you know, ex court you know, yeah. love to see the South game. Are you going to do the game? And yeah. so I said, we'll, we'll attempt to do the whole game. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you can't get to the netball. I'd say, um, Trish, if you just want to watch the game to get away from husband John for a little bit, just quietly. <laughs> but uh, all no, that news will be available on yeah, the Hampton yeah. League web's, uh, Facebook page as well. Hey, guys, thank you for your support. 2022, what a year it's been. Get to the Reed Oval on Saturday afternoon for all of our grand finals. That Open Division grand final starts at 1.45. We've enjoyed coming to your uh, living room each and every Wednesday night and we look forward to returning back in 2023. Good luck to all the teams this weekend. And cheers.